guys, this is Cheese with High Nine, and I'm going to be starting a new series on Photoshop Elements tips and tricks. So, um, let's just get started. So, the first thing I'm going to be teaching you is how to create 3D text. I'm going to move my mic back a little so I have some space to move. Okay, so, um, I like to just, I'm just going to name it Test. Um, uh, my width is 1920, my height is 1080, that's an HD resolution, which is what I like to keep it at. Um, my resolution right now is 102 pixels per inch. Uh, mine's either 102 or 72. I'm just gonna keep it at 102. Color mode RGB color and background color or contents transparent. Okay, so just hit OK. Drag that into the background. And the first thing you're gonna want to do is just make whatever background color you want it to be. I'll just have it as white. Or yeah, I'll just have it as white. Um show you uh so yeah and then just go over to your text tool right over here type in whatever you want to it's not showing up because my color uh font color is white i'm just gonna make it um blue make sure that it's a light color because pretty much what you're doing when you create a 3d text is you pretty much dupe or duplicate the layer then make it darker in the back in the back so next what you're gonna want to do is have your layer selected um, the text layer then go over to this button right here this is the move tool really zoomed in and hit that and then hit cold down option on your Mac or uh, I don't know whatever that is on a PC and then go down then a little to uh, you can go down or up or uh, so you can go down right down right down right or up left up left or down left it doesn't really matter just go make sure that you just do it in like a pattern that works so once you have about 12 copies over here as you can see I have about 12 different la copies um, of the original one uh, hold down shift and <clears throat> click the very first copy that you made and make sure that all of the copies are highlighted then go over to layer go down and hit merge layers which is command E if for a shortcut and then what you're going to want to do, whoops, is pretty much whatever you can is just make it darker and make it behind the first layer. So I like to click this effect right here. It's called glowing edges. So when I click it, and then that looks good because it's pretty much just black, which is what I'm aiming for. I just hit, oh, so the edge width is 1, edge brightness is 20, and the smoothness is 3. I just hit OK, and... As you can see, I have a um, 3D looking text. Um, yeah, so that is a 3D looking text. Okay, let me just move this over a little bit. There we go. Okay, so um, <clears throat> if you wanted it to be a little thicker, then what all you'd have to do is just make more copies. So I'll just delete this. And let's say I wanted to have it like really thick. So I'll just go right, left, right, left. Or, down, right, down, right. Okay, that should be enough. Then just uh, shift to the first copy, merge them, which is Command E, and then make them darker. Hit OK, and whoops, hold on, and make this go behind the first one. All right, so that's how you make 3D text. Um, please subscribe, rate, and comment, and yeah, see you next video. Bye.